What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about a Javante Green injury update and whether or not it may be too late to see him return for the Chicago Bulls this season. Now, at the end of the day, there's still fairly a solid amount of games to go. I think it's around 17, 16 games to go for the Chicago Bulls. And altogether, we are in for a big stretch towards the end of the season where we either go for a play-in spot and actually qualify for a play-in spot or we fall short of the play-in and we start our off-season early and we end up watching other teams participate in the NBA playoffs. A lot of people have different views and opinions on where the Bulls need to be or where the Bulls direction needs to be. I'll leave that all up to you. But this video is going to be about whether or not Javante Green will be able to come back for the Chicago Bulls and whether or not it will actually affect the long-term future of Javante Green as well. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bulls Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls and whether or not you would like to see Javante Green return to the Chicago Bulls in this short stretch and as well as for the long term after this season. There is a lot to get through here. So... I'll quickly start off by giving you the update in relation to Javante Green, and it's not a positive one. You should, again, I, I thought the last update we got about Javante Green was fairly positive. Yes, he wasn't he wasn't really running at that point, but he was getting closer to running and he was getting closer to the physical contact side of things, which would allow him to be close to returning. Now it looks like there is no timetable upon his return. He's still having problems with lateral quickness and stuff like that, and. Again, he will be reevaluated in two weeks' time. So, that's a long way away, ladies and gentlemen. That's what? 10 games, 5 games maybe, around that mark, maybe 7-ish games. It doesn't really matter how many games are in the next couple of weeks. But basically, the update is not a very good one for Javante Green, which means we are cutting it very close if we are going to see him return this season. Now, Javante Green has always been an energizer, always been the hardest working player on the court, and is someone that at the end of the day doesn't have the amazing talent that maybe a Zach Levine has, or a DeMar DeRozan has, or a Nikola Vucevic has. But he works harder than all of them, in my opinion. And I think that's why the Bulls value him and I think that's why the players around the Chicago Bulls value his work as well He gets the dirty work done for this team And I think it's something we've been sorely missing over the last couple of games an undersized guy But is very athletic is willing to put in the work on the rebounding side of things and is willing to just I guess do all the things that some players are just not willing to do and I feel like we do need another player like that on this team. But again, cutting it very, very close. And there is a strong possibility you may not see Javante Green return to the Chicago Bulls this season. There is a strong possibility Javante Green might very well enter this free agency period with the unknown factor of whether or not he will be a Chicago Bulls player or he will be, I guess, a player on a different team or whether or not he'll have a team whatsoever. There are questions there that will need to be asked. And again, since we're cutting it close, you will have to question whether or not it is too late for Javante Green. You have to question whether or not the relationship, I guess, between Javante Green and the Chicago Bulls will come to an end. Now, here's my thoughts and opinions on everything in relation to Javante Green. It's very similar to how I felt about Lonzo Ball not too long ago. Before we had any idea of whether or not Lonzo Ball would return to the Chicago Bulls or not, I was always saying, if there's something worth fighting for, then Lonzo Ball should do everything in his power to come back. If he's 100% healthy, of course. That was always the main thing. He has to be healthy. We don't want to rush him in at 70% because that is kind of where the biggest problems lied with the Bulls, where we rush things or we overanalyze things and sometimes it doesn't work out in our favor. We bring players back too early and it ends up costing us in many ways. I didn't want that to happen, but if there was a chance for Lonzo Ball to come back 100% healthy by the end of the season, if there's something worth fighting for, he sh I think he sh it, could it should have happened. And obviously, he's not 100% and therefore it was the right move to sit him out. With Javante Green, I feel the same way. If there's something worth fighting for, then he should do everything in his power to return to the Chicago Bulls by the end of the season. But that's the question. 
Is the play-in worth fighting for? That's the question I have for you guys. Is the play-in tournament worth fighting for? Fighting for home court advantage in the playoffs, which is where we were last season, that was worth fighting for. To have the home crowd advantage in game one is always a massive advantage for you. And to have game seven at your home turf is always a massive, massive advantage for you. Again, it's worth fighting for. Is the play-in tournament for you guys worth fighting for? Because if it is worth fighting for, then Javante Green should do everything in his power to try and come back before the season's end. Which, again, it might be two games, it might be five games, but those games could be worth it for the Bulls. But if you don't think the play-in tournament is, I guess, worth it, if you're not willing to fight for the play-in tournament, and some people want to tank anyway. I know there are people out there that would rather go for the pick than go for the play-in tournament. If that's where your stance is, then Javante Green, it's better to keep his health in check and his health as the number one priority and rest him for the whole season. If you're going to bring him back, bring him back. But if you don't bring him back, at least don't let him get injured by the off-season and then all of a sudden, no team's going to take him. And that is very disastrous for Javante Green. So that's where my thoughts and opinions come down to in relation to this topic is Javante Green or is the playing tournament worth Javante Green returning to if the answer is yes then keep on working at it make sure he's able to play make sure he's also healthy and then see where we go in terms of competing for a playing tournament if you don't think the playing tournament is worth fighting for then it's best to sit Javante Green out the rest of the year what's the point of rushing him back for no reason and that's how some people will feel. And then the off-season. We'll talk quickly about that. The fact that we haven't seen Javonte Green return or play in a long, long time, in my opinion, it's put people's minds to the point where we don't need Javonte Green. Because at the end of the day, it's like... It's the time effect. It's when you see something for the first time, you, you obviously you, you love, you enjoyed it. We've enjoyed Javante Green's first season. We've enjoyed Javante Green's, I guess, season so far. Not the best, not compared to last year at least, but definitely not bad and definitely someone that can help this team. But since he's been out, people forget these things. People forget what Javante Green's impact has been for the Chicago Bulls. And therefore, with that, with that time that he's had away from this Bulls team, there are people that now will begin to believe that we don't need Javante Green anymore. And that he is not worth bringing back to the Chicago Bulls anymore. What I will say is this. I personally would love Javante Green back on the Bulls next year. But I find it very unlikely that he will be back on the Bulls next year. And the reasons are quite obvious. Cap space. We don't have cap space to bring back all of our guys. At this point in time, we have a lot of expiring contracts. And we have a lot of player options on this team as well. I can try to list them all, see if maybe some of them are right or wrong. But from my understanding, Vucevic expiring contract. Kobe White restricted free agent. Ayo Dosumu restricted free agent. Patrick Beverly expiring contract. Um, you've got... I believe you've got Derrick Jones Jr. on a player option. You've got Andre Drummond on a player option. And Javante Green is on an expiring deal. That is a lot of our roster that needs to be decided upon. And I do see other priorities over Javante Green as we speak. So I do think that relationship is going to come to an end between the Chicago Bulls and Javante Green. And although it's sad, there has to be sacrifices made by this Bulls team. When we start watching this Bulls team play and you start to really identify and get to know some of these players, there's attachments there. There always will be. Where Whether we're at the lowest of the lowest or whether we're at the highest of the highest, you do grow fond of some of these players. These are your players. These are the players that represent your, I guess, represent Chicago and represent the global fan base that supports the Chicago Bulls. Whether there are some games you hate them, some games that you love them, there is an attachment there. And especially for hardworking players that will always bring energy like Javante Green, people will love Javante Green. And I think it's going to be very hard to see him go, and people won't like seeing him go, but I just feel like it's going to be the inevitable option. I feel like it's inevitable to see Javante Green leave the Chicago Bulls team. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the only way I feel Javante Green returns to the Chicago Bulls team is if nobody else in the NBA finds any value in him and we can bring him back on very, very low amount of money. If we can do that, then Javante Green will be here and I think there is no question about it. But I do see Javante Green gaining value around the league. 
and that is really as simple as that. I see him going to a team, and I see him doing okay. It's not a Denzel Valentine situation where there's not a lot of interest because he hasn't necessarily done well for the Bulls. It's not necessarily a, for example, Shaquille Harrison, who barely got any game time, but when he did, he was okay. He was solid. Javante Green has been a mainstay for the Bulls. He was playing well on the Celtics, and he's improved almost every single season. I see a team going for Javante Green. On a very low deal, yes, but it might be a deal we're not be, we're not we won't be willing to, I guess, match and bring him back. And it's something we're gonna have to wait and see about. It's unfortunate, um, but yes, in terms of the injury side of things, I wish Javante Green a speedy recovery. And if the plane is worth fighting for for the Bulls, for the fans, obviously for the players, then I think we could see him back. But it'll be very very close to the end of the season. If the plane is not worth fighting for for some of you guys then we may not see Javante Green back this season. And better be safe than sorry in terms of a player's injury and aggravating it or making it any worse if there is really nothing to fight for. He's fighting for a playing spot at the very, I guess, end of the play-in as well, the 10th seed or the 9th seed. Is that worth it for you guys? Where we have to play two extra games to get out of the playing tournament just to get eliminated in the first round. Is that worth it for you guys? Or... Is it just move on into the next season? What's done is done. We've had enough. We don't really want to see any more. It's a tough question. But anyway, we've got a game coming up fairly soon. It's going to be against the Denver Nuggets. It won't be tomorrow for me. Or won't be um, in a couple of hours for you. It'll be the day after that. Which is very, very good for me personally. But we'll wait and see how things go. One game at a time, I guess. Autopilot mode. And we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I did not mean this video to take 11 minutes. But there is a big question mark about Javante Green. Just like there is for most of our players. We do not know the future of these players. Nothing is guaranteed. Ayo Desumu is another example of this. Everybody thinks because he's from Chicago. And because he had a great first season. That he's going to be here for the long term. And the future of Ayo Desumu for me is undetermined. Um, it's not a guarantee that we'll bring him back. I've always believed that we will. I still think that we will, but it's not a guarantee. And it's the same with Kobe White. It's the same with Vucevic. It's the same with everybody on this team. No future is guaranteed. And Javante Green is also part of that list. So without further ado, I'll end the video. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.